Welcome back. Arnold Henry was born and raised in St. Lucia and now lives in Calgary, Canada. A difficult childhood drove Henry to pursue his basketball dreams and he is the only NCAA Division I freshman basketball player from St. Lucia to receive a full scholarship for the sport. His basketball career brought him to the U.S. and later inspired him to write his debut book, Hanging On To My Dreams an inspiring autobiography that follows the many hurdles and disappointments that he faced on the road to fulfilling his hoop dreams. So I have with me today Mr. Arnold Henry and Arnold welcome to Scholastic Sports. Thank you for having me. Okay. Now tell me about you as a student before your scholarship. Well basically being a student you know he's been a student so I was you know attending entry post secondary school and throughout my days was you know trying to excel in academics as much as I can and after school hours I would um, go on the track and field um, field for training or go on the basketball court so basically my you know my earlier years at entry post secondary school was you know trying to excel in sports and in academics as well. Okay. And when did you realize that you wanted to play basketball professionally? I was inspired one day watching television. Um, it was actually a uh, finals playoff game against the Chicago Bulls and the Utah mm -hmm. Jazz. I, you know, I was sitting in my um, living room at home watching the game and I was inspired by number 23 and, um, who played for the Chicago Bulls as we all know Michael Jordan. and. Um, you know, he had he he had a, an amazing performance that evening, and you know I decided that you know I want to someday become a professional basketball player. Okay, that's some serious inspiration there. Yes, yes, indeed. And what are some of the challenges, if any, that you have faced while pursuing your dream? Well, I grew up in the Masha community, um, in a society where you could easily get assimilated into all the bad activities. So, you know, I had my head on, I wanted to be on the right path. That was, you know, one aspect of growing up, you know, all my upbringings. And another part was, you know, facing financial issues. Um, earlier, the earlier years of my childhood, my mom um, really suffered with a bad leg, which was, which had um, unable to work. So she um, um, struggled financially and that was probably one of the biggest, um, you know, things I had to overcome, okay. you know. But you really did overcome. Yeah, um, you know, my mom is a, a fighter. Um, if she didn't have the means or the financial, you know, assistance to send me to school, she would have found her way. Um, and, you know, as a child, you, as the oldest child, you tend to understand those, you know, these situations and try your best to, you know, to never ask mommy for anything. Right. But rather be the leader. And you also have a younger brother who plays basketball also. Yeah, yeah. My, right. my, okay. I have a younger brother who plays. He's actually about to graduate from the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. Um, he's set to graduate next month, um, the 4th of May. Uh, yeah, so you know, I'm I'm proud of him because he came a long way. Um, before I left Saint Lucia, he did he did not even touch a basketball. Wow! And when I came back, you know, to Saint Lucia on vacation, you know, he's like all over the island playing. He's he's um, making a name for himself. So I'm really proud of him um, because he followed my footsteps and yes. he you know he's doing better than I did during my college years. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's great. Now tell me about the scholarship. Well, the scholarship is um, basically like a full basketball scholarship where they pay for your, your tuition and you get to play basketball. Um, yeah, that's... <laughs> okay. And what has your experience been as a scholarship student? Um, on a sports scholarship? I, um, you know, it's a very rare opportunity for a solution to get um, those kind of, you know, basketball scholarships. So it was something I really appreciated. Um, U10, they, they provide you with a full, um, I mean, they pay for your tuition. 
um, you get to play in an organized system in America um, as far as basketball. Um, you like you know, like you basically don't have to pay for anything. Right. You get like everything paid for. You get um, boarding, school. You get a room to stay in. You you um, get like your full course meals during the day. So it's a blessing because at the end of the day, you you get to play the sport you love, and you get a free education out of it. Very few Indonesians get this type of opportunities. How important do you think it is for young people to be able to have those opportunities accessible um, by whatever organization, but how critical do you think it is in a young person's development? Uh, the way I see it is that you know, from the time you enter secondary school, you have to have your mind on, on what, where you want to go in life. Uh, from Form 1 to Form 5, um, is like you have to take those years to really, you know, excel in your academics and in sports because these are the years where you can, you know, make a, a, quite a lot of development before you turn that that um, eighteen you transition year old. transition into that exactly, adulthood, right? Exactly. So that you know, you could have, you could be prepared, and by the time you graduate from secondary school, you will have a lot of doors open for you. So. You know, excelling in sports and academic is quite important during your form one to form five years. Right, because I find too often people say that there aren't opportunities, but the truth is you have to create opportunities yeah. for yourself, and people fail to realize yeah, that Yeah, and, and I like to say um, success comes when preparation meets opportunity. I totally That's a quote agree. I like to, to live with. That's one of my principles of life, actually. And you started a tour or campaign in secondary schools. Talk to me about that. Well, I just wanted to, you know, like we were talking about earlier, um, trying to give those students a kind of a, a heads up about mm -hmm. life, try to let them know the, how you should prepare for those kind of opportunities. Um, I really wanted to reach out to them and try to share some positive insight about life and the, the things I had to go through to become why, why I'm right now um, as far as getting basketball scholarships or even you know trying to go to college like I, I wanted to let them know that you know education is very important mm -hmm. um, to get anywhere in life I, I think that that's very inspirational because too often you have young people who they, they excel at sport but they fail to strike the balance even for me when I was at secondary school I was a track athlete yeah. and I used to I, w I, I pretty much did not take my academics as seriously as I should have yeah. and I settled for the average and I knew that I could have excelled. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people don't realize that you need the sports you know, to, and the academics to get scholarships, um, right. especially because it is a college mm -hmm. and you know, um, those colleges want um, students who, or they want to provide education for students who they believe that will make the colleges proud as well, you know, academically and sports-wise. Well, because it's one thing to have the passion, but there must be something to fall back on in the event that you're not able to. Let's say you have a broken leg, how exactly. do you continue to play? What exactly. happens then? Yes. Okay, so that idea pretty much initiated from all of what you have been through to serve as a source of inspiration to our young people. Yes, exactly. Okay. And and at the end of the day, you know, um, I graduated from college with my bachelor's degree mm -hmm. in computer information system. So I have something to fall back yeah. on, you know, if the basketball doesn't take off. Okay. So what's next for Arnold Henry? Well, you know, since I'm an author now um, of the book Hanging On To My Dreams, mm -hmm. um, a basketball franchise owner who, who lives in Canada, um, they're part of the National Basketball League in Canada. He actually bought my book and read my story. And he was he invited me to a basketball tryout in August in Toronto. So I'm hoping to fulfill that you know that basketball professional dream I've I've wanted so much from since childhood. Some really big dreams, and all all the exactly. best with that. And what message do you want to leave with our students and our young people who are watching? I just wanted to let them know that, you know, in life, if you want to, you know, be successful, you must really take your education really seriously and try your best to, 
you know, to take the steps necessary to achieve anything you want, um, starting from now. <laughs> yeah. So, there folks, you have it from the man himself. He's hanging on to his dreams. And Anul, thank you so much for being with us today. All right, thank you.